All right, guys, we are back the next morning. Let's see what happens. Okay, Mudkip comes up. Good morning. Yesterday I did some checking around. Turns out that the hills of the ancient is apparently in the Great Canyon. We should go there right away. Off to the Great Canyon. Huh? What's the matter? Yeah, nothing. Weren't you about to ask me something? What's the matter? Go on, say it. Why are you so happy? Why? Why? Oh. What you need? What you need to ask? For someone else. Someone else? Come on. What do you think I am? We're friends, aren't we? I want to do my best because it's for you. That's what it's all about. So as always, let's try our best as well. Okay. We have a lot of money. Let's go um, buy a few few new friend areas. So we do have quite a bit of money. Alright, let's see. Can buy. We can buy two. Mm. Yeah, let's get these. Let's get this and then get overgrown forest. And I didn't really explain how you recruit Pokemon. Uh, the way that you recruit is that you. Um, you obviously have to have the friend area of the Pokemon. And then if you battle it in a dungeon, there is a chance that after you defeat it, that he'll join your team. And um, it's other variables that raises the chances, like the higher your um, rescue team rank is. I think currently we're at bronze rank. Yeah, we're at bronze rank. And what else? And uh, maybe what level you are. I'm not sure about that one. And... There's also like a friend band I think you can um, hold that also will increase the chances of you getting a friend Pokemon. So that's pretty much how you um, recruit Pokemon. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of the Ancients is on the 13th floor. Zatu so should be there. Let's do our best. Do, 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 do. Skip loan. Like for example, I could have gotten that skip loan if I did have the friend base for it. Let's pick up this apple. All right, so we have to get to floor 13 to get to Zatu. Zatu, of course, can tell us what is the meaning of us becoming a Pokemon and all that. And a Doduo. That pegged it a lot. Oh, I'm dead. No! I do have a Reviver C, so I guess that's good. Fury Attack is kind of overpowered in this game. Alright, come on, Mudkip. Let's get this blast. Oh, I think we're full on items. Fanfy. I wouldn't mind having a Fanfy. Yep, see? We have the friend zone for a um, Fanfy so we can add it to our team. It's as easy as that. And whenever, like, as long as we complete the dungeon with Fanfy still alive, we can always, you know, we can always use them on other missions. Ah, let's get this pokey. Because we definitely want to get all the friend areas. And let's eat this pink gummy. Get this pokey. That's a lot pokey for one pickup. I guess let's eat this max elixir. Let's see. No, let's eat this plain seed. 
because uh, you can't really do anything with that. That's what happens when you use a reviver seed, it turns into a plain seed. Okay, so Bray Loon, wow. Fanfi has pick up, so he'll just randomly pick up. He'll just randomly pick up an item every time you think every time you reach the floor, I wanna say. If he's not already obviously if he's not already holding the item. Use older sloop. And we got Mudkip over there throwing gravel rocks like Peyton Manning or something. And that's the team. The team's looking pretty good. Just flying through the hills of the ancient. No, the Great Canyon, which is in the hills of. Or is it the Hill of the Ancients, which is in the Great Canyon? Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's a dead end. Let's travel down here. Hopefully it's nope. Okay, got a cag turn coming. Got two cag turns coming. Uh oh, let me take him out before he starts getting too strong. All right, obviously he's going to be at the far. Hmm. It's going to be in the far west of the dungeon, and I get a crit. Guess it could be. Yeah, no, it's probably going to be over there. Okay, Mudkip is at 16, and normally this is when Mudkip would evolve, but you can't evolve Pokemons at this point. It's actually a different, you have to do something different to make Pokemon evolve, pretty much. Alright, right here we have a Link Box, and we will actually pick this up. Let's see what I want to eat. We eat one of these orange berries. And what Link Boxes would do is that they will allow you to link two or more moves together and it'll be kind of a combo attack like I could link my scratch and ember together and he would do that in one turn which is it, it's good and bad because you can waste moves doing that but at the same time you get a powerful combo oh didn't mean to do that And um, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing. Like I said, the only thing bad that you want to watch for if you link moves is that you might waste moves. Like one poke, like a Pokemon might only need, you know, you might be able to just kill it with an Ember, and you might waste the Scratch. And I'm getting kind of low here. And let's eat an Orange Bear just to be safe. What do we have following us? A Heracross? Yeah, let's go back and help Fanfi out. And we can definitely take... Charmander's been... He's pretty good type matchup for all the Pokemon we face so far. Oh, he's gonna endure all my attacks. Uh... All right, let's use another orange berry. Have to wait for his endure status to go away. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, some moves got a, a little tweak for this game. Okay, I'm out of embers. We have anything that we want to use? No. Okay. 
So we'll just hit him with a Metal Claw. Has a chance to raise our attack. Alright, let's eat that. Well, let's ingest the Max Elixir. Okay, we have a few Max Elixirs, elixir, so we don't have to worry about it. Overdoing it. And we have a Blast Seed. Alright, we spawn right by our Eudos. I'm surprised that Fanfi hasn't leveled up yet. Fanfi hasn't had to do anything except for he just randomly does the older sloop for no reason. Okay, we got a hair cross. Should be able to take him out easily. And Cacturn. Taking him out with the power of Mudkip as well. Let's see what? Absorbed it a lot. Considering I resisted, but okay. Go for another one. Gonna hit him with that blaze boosted ember. Yeah, whenever you get to the peril status, with which is when it starts blinking uh, blue and red, if you have like a starter Pokemon, obviously their um, power ability will activate like blaze or overgrow or what torrent. Yes, that's the water one torrent. And just went in circles over there. And we are getting some decent experience, and we have some kind of band or scarf. So we got a power band. If we don't need it, we can sell it for a good bit of money. Alright, I think we just leveled up. Yep, level 16. And we should be getting, hopefully we get flamethrower pretty soon. Alright, let's take out this hair cross, I guess. Okay, so, floor 9. Oh, well we will be able to take him out thanks to Blaze, so that's one good thing. I might just want to walk around with this blaze going. Alright, so we get another link box and probably want to sell it if we can. Alright, let's eat that. And as you can see, we have a bunch of Hound Dooms coming, which could be dangerous. So we're just going to proceed to the next floor. There was three Hound Dooms coming, oh my gosh. And he misses thanks to the mud slap accuracy drop, which is all good. We only need two more floors. And then we will be at Zatu. Alright, one more floor. Ornberry, able to pick that up. Okay, I'm feeling that it's this way. Yep. Alright, so we're pretty much through. Yes, we finally made it to the top. This is the Hill of the Ancients. Look, over there. Uh, that's Zatu over there. Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Hello? Maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello? Zatu just stares into the sun all day. That's not good for you. Hello? It's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet. What should we do? Attack! Oh, we're going to attack. Uh, no. No way. I mean, he's kind of creepy. It'd be scary for sure. Fine then, I'll do it. Okay, if anything happens to me, you have to help me. I'm counting on you.
Okay, counting down. Three, two, one. Now. Yikes. Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed, I am Zatu. You discern my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guess your identity, that's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are not an ordinary Pokemon. You are. Human, yes? Huh? How can you tell that? All day I stare at the sun unblinking. It gives me sight for all things. So if you want to see into the future, all you have to do is stare into the sun. The past and the future too. If you know, please tell us I do. Next to me is my friend. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon and without any memories as a human. Can you tell us? You can tell us, can't you? Please tell us. The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And you're becoming a Pokemon? They are tied together. Inseparable so. Inseparably so. Wait. Becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters are related? What do you mean? What does he have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? Why did you clam up? Please tell us, please. There are bigger concerns, I'm afraid. The world's balance, it must be restored. Or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You serious? The world. The unthinkable is coming. Every day I see it. The same future every day. I dread it. It's I too. I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that a surprise? That was a, that guy was human. That's going to be useful. This should be interesting. Kick, kick, kick. All right. As you can see, our friends are dispersed to their areas, and we can always call upon them when we want to. And we'll say the adventure, adventure, probably longer episode. But I will see you guys next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed.